up everyone i hope you're all doing well i've really missed chatting to you all i've not done a video for a week and i'm glad to get back into it and back into my routine i'm going to do a little bit of a catch up soon and let you know what i've been up to not that it's like super interesting or anything but i'll just catch up on what i've been doing and that um but yeah i'm going to talk about the build a little bit so i made this large family home and i decided to call it a generations family home um, I've never really made a Generations Family Home before. I'm not entirely sure I know what one is because it's not like my play style, but I guess it's just different generations of one family living there, like with the grandparents, kids, parents, whatever. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of intended for that. I built it with Get Together, Cats and Dogs, Discover University, Seasons and Laundry Day stuff. So a couple more packs than what I'd normally use, so I hope that's all right. You could do without the Laundry Day stuff if you don't have that pack and I only used like laundry day stuff to decorate one uh, room I just did like a little laundry room you could always turn that into either like a pantry with base game stuff or you could have it as another bathroom um, so yeah you don't need that pack the main stuff is like seasons cats and dogs the other like four expansion packs that I mentioned and I built it on this lot in Brindleton Bay that I can't remember the size of but that'll be in the description uh, it's the one across the road from the Heckins house in Brindleton Bay. It has five bathrooms. No, it doesn't. It has five bedrooms and two bathrooms, a decent sized back garden, an office, and there's plenty for your sims to do as well. So yeah, uh, I hope that you like this build. I also went for this autumnal style on the exterior. Sorry if you heard that cargo pass then. Uh, but yeah, I've been wanting to make like an autumnal type build or a build set in autumn. Uh, for ages just because with it being like summer I tend to not really focus on like summer builds but like the season that I build in I usually do summer it tends to have like the best lighting and everything's like really green and then when I've been playing with uh, cottage living and doing all the cottages and stuff that's really like summery uh, sort of vibes to it and now I just want to do like a bit autumn because it's getting autumn in England so yeah and I'm really happy with how the exterior turned out and I think that the build suits Brindleton Bay pretty well um, so yeah, anyway, how are you all doing? How have you been? What have you been up to? Um, I had plans last week, which I feel like I've said in every single video that I've posted in August. Uh, I have this all like palaver with like cancelling and rearranging and whatever else. And yeah, the plans finally went ahead with no like issues really. Uh, and basically we travelled further up, like further up to the north of England to stay with my partner's family. They've not seen each other for like almost a year due to everything going on so it was nice to go up there and see everyone and to like have a bit of a break and stuff and seeing my partners like siblings kids and seeing how they've like changed and grown and stuff it's yeah it's just been really good and nice to see everybody. The weather were really nice as well like surprisingly the forecast for like last week was that it was going to be like cloudy and it was going to rain on some days so it was like a pleasant surprise really that it was actually quite warm although i didn't pack for like warm weather so there were a couple of days where like we were quite warm and i had to like go to the shops to get the kids like more i guess like summery outfits or get them a pair of shorts or whatever and i'm not like a massive fan of the sun to be honest well i'm not a massive fan of like the heat like i don't like being hot i'd much rather be cold than hot and i'm more of like like a spring or autumn time person because i don't like it when it's so like really cold i can't stand with like wind and rain but yeah yeah the weather was just nice and then we've come back home and it's like actually quite freezing i've had to put the central heating on today which i were brought up basically like i'm from yorkshire and yorkshire people are famous for being like tight like tight fisted like you know frugal and i were brought up on you don't turn the central heating on you don't put the heating on unless there's frost on the ground outside uh, and my dad's very much like it's not cold it's it's too hot if out and you're just like now i've got my own house i'm like no it's going on if i feel cold that eating's going on but yeah anyway we're going to go back and visit in a couple of months so it will be colder then uh sorry for talking about weather i know it's not like the most interesting thing it's just with the build being like autumnal i thought i'd mention the current weather i suppose and i am english it's what we do um, but yeah anyway the interior isn't really like autumn inspired it's not really got those sort of like orangey red brown colors or anything um, but i do want to do another build or a house that's like more suited for like october time it's a bit more like um witchy i suppose but not like just suited to like october and autumn more in general like on the interior and stuff as well 
I also want to do an industrial build. Um, I think I'm going to do that this week. I've not done it yet, but I think I'm going to do a house with items from the new kit. Um, I did a room build on my Instagram with the new kits. By the way, sorry if I'm like not able to string a complete sentence together without like making mistakes just because I'm not like used to talking so much. Um, but yeah, I did a build on Instagram um, just using the new kit and I'll go over my thoughts on the new kit in my next video where I actually build with it. Um, but what are your thoughts on it? Like let me know in the comments and I'll like if anybody mentions you know their opinion and stuff I'll go over that in my next video um, uh, but yeah I was away from home obviously when the kit was announced and I wasn't really on my phone a lot other than to like post stuff on Instagram that I'd got scheduled and then to like check my uploads and that to my channel um, but I saw it on someone's story and it was just a picture of like the room and I was like oh what's this and then I realized they'd shared it from uh, I think they shared it from the sim community on Instagram and yeah, when I went onto The Sims actual, like the official Instagram page, uh, I was like really excited, but also a bit disappointed that it were in a kit form. Uh, I'd rather it come in like a stuff pack or even like a game pack that's got its own theme and then that's just the the, the like decor style. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll talk about my thoughts on it because industrial is my like one of my favorite uh, interior styles or just decorating styles in general. But yeah, like I said, I'll talk about that um later on and i did want to put more orange and red plants out front to match the season but i was struggling to find any that looked nice to be honest i could have probably gone into debug to get some but by the time i like finished the interior and then i was doing like the final touches because i did like the front first and the interior then the back um i was just a bit like burnt out and a bit fed up as much as i love building and um, playing the same sometimes near the end of a build i feel a bit like I don't know, like I'm just getting tired and a bit just fed up with it, I suppose. Either because I want to move on to something else or because I'm running out of ideas. And I think I was just a bit worn out from the week that I'd had just because like all the socialising and just being away from home, like it's a lot. So yeah, I think I was just a bit burnt out in general. Um, and, and while I was building, there were a couple of times where I wanted to like ask my partner a question and I just couldn't speak. So yeah, I was just a bit like, yeah, I'm done with this. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I played a lot of uh, Breath of the Wild on the train up there and then back. And because it's a long train ride, I were playing it quite a lot. So I felt a bit like my hands were trying to play that. Uh, you know when you like play a game a lot and it takes kind of takes over like your muscle memory. Like obviously the controls for a game on the Switch are different to like playing on PC. Um, and yeah, I don't know if anyone else has that. But like even sometimes in real life, I'll like I've played The Sims a lot. And I'll see like a house and I'll think, oh, the roof could just do with like dragging the eaves in a little bit and changing the swatch just to make it look better. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if anyone else has that or if it's just me. But anyway, we've moved on to the interior now and I just wanted the interior to be quite, I'm not sure how to describe it, just like classic, I suppose, a bit traditional with like some modern touches here and there. Like the furniture in some of the rooms is a bit dated and then other rooms it's a bit more modern and not everything is like super matchy and like perfectly goes together. Uh, like they've gone for the same sort of colour scheme and that, like if they've got white furniture it's white but then it's not like exactly the same sort of style if you know what I mean. Because I think that that goes better with like a generation's family home, like you're going to have different sims living there over time, they're not going to have the same likes and personality and stuff so you're going to have furniture from like the previous parents that owned the house and then they pass it on to the next kid and stuff. Um, but like I said it's not really meant to be like all put together and perfect it's just kind of a typical family home i suppose like not everything in my house is perfectly matchy matchy in every single room and all that and i didn't want to clutter the rooms up too much with it being quite a big house so i wanted it to look quite like neat and tidy and like everything has its place and there's not a ton of like stuff out which to me that's my sort of home whether it's family home or not just in general um but i feel like not many houses are actually like that like your ideal sort of neat and tidy everything put away isn't always what you get um because you just end up with like so much stuff i don't even know how it happens in fact today actually i've been like having a clear out with the intention of everything having its place and i've just been sort of clearing out toys and stuff and i wanted to do every room which i'm not going to be able to do it all in one day but i hope to at least do like the kids bedrooms and yeah, I've just been having a big clear out of like old toys, sorting stuff out to be donated and just the amount of broken toys and 
just things that kids hang on to, like the amount of like random like McDonald's stuff that we have where they've got from like Happy Meals and you're just like, what even is this? And they're like, oh, don't throw that. I like that. And it's like, I've never even seen this. And they just like hang on to them, um, which I think I definitely did that as a kid. Like I had a collection of McDonald's toys. They had like a Digimon thing at McDonald's once. Um, and I had like a collection of them because I was really obsessed with collecting them. I didn't watch the program. I just liked collecting the little McDonald's figures. Well, they were like soft toys. Um, but yeah, the amount of like broken like pieces of crap that we have in the house and just the amount of toys that are in good condition but they're just not getting played with. They're just like stuffed under a bed, collecting dust at the back of a cupboard or just like stuffed behind a piece of furniture that have got like lost behind there. Um, and yeah, been at it all day and I feel like I've barely started. And we have these closets in my house as well. They're just used for oat like... There's one in my bedroom and one in one of the kids' bedrooms. And I just feel like they're just not organized and I wanted to drag all them out and, and tidy them and stuff. And they're just full of stuff like old cables, like bits of paperwork, suitcases, uh, cardboard boxes, like the shoe storage in one of them, Christmas decorations. And it's just one of them where you go open it and you're just like, I don't even know where it is because it's just not organized. Um, so yeah, I said to my partner at the weekend, do you wanna like, organize it let's just pull it all out rearrange it have it all tidy and stuff and they agreed that we could do that so i think i'll be doing that this weekend which is fun um it's not fun while you're doing it but it's such a relief after you know when you just have like a big like spring clean except i'm doing it in autumn but either way it just makes my head feel a lot clearer and i think i'm actually going to paint them just like the interior of them just paint them white you know make it feel a bit more clean and tidy and put like a battery powered light in them uh, but yeah, I don't know if anyone else has those moments where you just want to like get rid of everything and start again. Um, and I don't know if other countries have this, but like in England we have a lot. Well, a lot of people have what's known as like a shit drawer. So it's just it's just like a drawer usually in your kitchen where it's just filled with like random things. So like in ours, we've got like cling film and tin foil, which you know fairly normal items to have in a kitchen drawer. But then you've got stuff like. Uh, like Ikea instructions or batteries or like random wires that you don't know like what they're even for like elastic bands, playing cards, sandwich bags full of like spare screws and stuff and honestly like oh you could think of that doesn't really have a place anywhere else and it just gets pushed into that drawer and then every like year you might have a big clear out of it and it's all like neat and tidy and then it gets back to like an absolute state again except we've upgraded from one drawer to like three closets and they've all just become like a shit drawer but in closet form where they're just full of just rubbish and yeah I just want to make them all like neat and tidy again and not have to like worry about it because I get really annoyed and like agitated feeling like stuff is just a mess even if I'm not in the same room as it or if I'm not looking at it just the thought of it being like a mess and so if it just really annoys me for some reason I'm not like it all the time like I'm not like really affected by it but every now and again I'll just open a cupboard and I'm like no it's got to go get rid of it start again like just rip it the entire thing out and get rid of it like I can't be doing with it um, so yeah, that's going to be my plans for the weekend, not that exciting and I don't think I mentioned it at the start of the video but I think I'm going to end the voice over, I know I said voice note, uh, the voice over a bit early today just because I'm not feeling too well. I'm alright, I'm just a bit like uh, IBS problems, you know what I mean, like <laughs> just not fun. I think I had this in my last video where I was like complaining that I'd been in bathroom a lot in one day but yeah, I'm basically in the same situation as last time. But yeah, with that being said, I am going to wrap up the voiceover here. Uh, sorry if you've heard any background noise as well. I've been like fidgeting a lot because I'm trying to like concentrate to get through the voiceover. So yeah, with that being said, I'm going to wrap up the voiceover here and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. It's good to be back doing a voiceover even if I feel a bit rusty. It's been good to like talk to you and, you know, let me know in comments what you've been up to and, you know, how your summer's been and that and what your plans are for the weekend. And yeah. With that, I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> I forgot how to do my outro, so I'm just going to say bye. Uh, if you liked the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to as well. And yeah, if you want to download this build, it'll be on the gallery. My ID is Sims Hutch and any relevant information will be in the description of this video. Hope you have a good day and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>
Thank mm-hmm. you.